In this video, we'll learn about another number format, which is accounting number format. So we already have currency number format applied to these cells. And one thing you notice here is that the, the rupee symbol or the currency symbol here, it's not aligned. Basically, if you have more digits in your data, then the rupee symbol is going to move further to the left. And here, they're not aligned vertically. So that's something which you can control. For example, if I choose accounting as my number format here, you can see here that the currency symbol is actually now aligned vertically, meaning they're all lining up here to the left edge and the numbers are aligned to the right. And it also defaulted to my default currency symbol, but I can change that easily by doing going to the format cells dialog box. And you can see here that it's accounting number format and you don't have a lot of control with the accounting number format. You basically can change the decimal places and you can change the symbol. And let me change it back to English India. And now you can see that the rupee symbol is vertically aligned. Basically, this is what the accounting number format does. It will help you align vertically the currency symbol. So depending on your need, you can choose accounting or the currency format symbol. In this example, I'm going to just keep it as currency. But if you really prefer to keep the, the currency symbols aligned vertically, then you can choose the accounting number format.